When autumn arrives, there's a short period where the coarse fishing on my waters can slow right down before it picks right back up again in the pre-winter autumnal feed. So during this time, I like to lay down my pike and perch rods and then allow them to collect dust and be home to the newly born autumn spiders just for a couple weeks. This short break creates a window for me to undertake some of my most favourite fishing I do. It might not meet the pike and perch criteria, but who's to worry about that when you're catching huge fish? So, in this video, I'd like to welcome you to Dream Salmon Fishing. Oh my god! This is huge! This is a huge cock. <sighs> Let's get this show on the road. After a long year of waiting, it was finally time to get back out on the river. The hot and dry heat wave towards the middle to the end of September had held some number of fish back from travelling up the river in their spawning mission. For this reason, I presume there wouldn't be a great deal of fish in the river and I wanted to cover as much water as possible in my short trip. So I made the decision to run the river through with a traditional spinner. I prepared for a really long time just to make sure that if I do have a chance of a salmon, my knots, my gear and nothing was going to fail and that everything was in check for my trip ahead. So let's pack the car and get going on a long journey. And after what felt like a never ending drive, I had made it to the river. Alright then, I have travelled a long, 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 long way from home. So long that I can't class myself as the Lake District Angler anymore. Day one and it's looking good. The river's perfect. Beautiful height. Beautiful height to be finding fish and to be fishing in. So I'm feeling really good. It looks juicy. So I soon got suited and booted. Had one last little check up on my setup. Set off on a short walk, feeling very confident. That's obviously if the fish are here and then got casting. And uh, if you know the fish about. I tell you what, although you're casting in places where you think fish may be, it's so uncertain when it comes to this style of fishing and the coffee stain of it means it's so impossible to see a chasing fish. So it's fair to say that the adrenaline and heart rate are up at all times as you never know when you're going to get whacked and trust me, you do not half get whacked by these fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Is that a little sea trout or brown trout? What have we got here? What have we got here? Little brown trout, I think. Beautiful. We'll take that all day long. See you later. Now the first half of this session was really quiet, so I stopped for a quick lunch break and then continued to tally up the steps afterwards. And it wasn't long until I had my first interaction. Absolutely love the look of this pool. Yep. That's a fish. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Oh, that's a nice fish! Oh, this is a nice fish. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. First fish of the season. And it's a beauty. And it is a beauty, what have you just hit there? Maybe a single hook popping out. Ooh. Oh, there she goes. Right. I need to get my net. Ah. Oh, look at these head shakes. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Finally. Oh. oh, this is a big fish, guys. This is a big fish this is a big fish its head shakes are so powerful <laughs> right i really need to get my net 
I really need to get my net. Ooh. Ooh, that's big, big fish. Right, need to take my bag off. Ugh. Go on, you go for walkabouts. Okay, 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 please. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now I've got to get the Velcro off. Come on. You couldn't make this any more difficult, could you? I'm talking to myself when I say that. Now we're fighting. Now we are fighting. Let's go. Net's ready. Fish still has a bit of power left in. Don't get wrapped up like that. What I'm going to do is feed it round. Back end of this pool. Now get it to... Oh, this is huge. This is huge. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. Right, let's say chill. Now grab the net. Head first. Oh my God. <laughs> that is huge. Oh, my body is shaking. Oh dear. I did not expect this at all. And this fish is absolutely stunning. I am absolutely over the bloody moon with this fish. It is huge, easy PB, mid double all day. Thick, huge, everything, right? I'm teasing you long enough. So let's get a better look at this fish. Oh. Oh. It's been well, well rested, so it's gonna be more than ready to go. <sighs> look at the size of that. Look at the size of that hen. This is an absolute monster. Beautiful. Oh my days. Oh, let's get it back in the net rested and then we'll send her on away. Oh my days. You are beautiful. Look at the size of its fin. You can always tell by how big the game thing is. That is an absolute stunning, stunning example of a salmon. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> Get in! <laughs> oh, honestly, there is nothing that can put the right words in my mouth and my brain to describe how bloody happy I am. And guys, it's not even 10 o'clock yet in the morning. We have plenty more pools to fish. I'll see you there. Well, I did just that and I can assure you now I fished my socks off after getting that fish, but there was no signs of anything else but a bit of moss and then came some thunder. Woo. Oh hell, this isn't just rain, this is a whole ass thunderstorm. Oh dear. Bringing in torrential rain, so I packed my stuff up, went home, smiled at the pictures of the fish that I got that day, and then got ready for day two. With the storm that came in, the river was up by a substantial amount. This didn't affect me as much as it probably would have if I didn't get that fish the day before. I was still so, so, so happy. But what this did mean is that the fish would be focused on travelling, using the extra water to their advantage. So as a consequence, they could be fairly spread out, but there also could be a lot more fish coming up the river. After a lot of casting and walking and getting very, very, very soaked, the morning flew by and then it was the afternoon and I only had a little bit of time left and I was getting fairly frustrated, so I thought I'd chill out for a bit and then reevaluate my plan. Now that the river had dropped a slight bit, I thought that some of the fish might be holding in the deeper pools again. So I went out and fished a few of these pools, but not a lot was happening. At this point I thought I was just going to chill out for a bit and fish without the cameras, but I did think I'd just take my main camera in case I can get some cool footage or any photos if I do land a fish. Realistically, I was just trying to eliminate the GoPro curse. After fishing some of these deep pools, there's only one left to fish. Uh, there's not a lot of pools to fish, but there's one left, and it was the one I got the fish from yesterday. If it worked yesterday, I used to say it's not going to work again today. Little did I know that choosing to go back to this pool would result in a life-changing fish. Oh 
okay. That's first cast in this pool, and we're on to a fish. I'm not sure what it is yet, but it's digging deep. Just really trying to ease it back up into the main stretch of this pool. I don't want to be running down those rapids. Okay. Oh, this one's fired up. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't even put my GoPro on yet. Oh. It's another big fish. Get away from that. Get away from there. Get away from that. This is huge. This is huge. We've done it. This is another BB, I can't believe it. First cast in this pool, oh my God. Oh, I didn't even have a chance to get the GoPro or anything. I literally just thought, I'm just gonna cast, have a bit of chill time fishing, but I'll set the main camera up, boom. Oh, this is a huge cock, a huge, huge, huge cock salmon. I was on the phone the whole time, trying to ring a friend that's just left so he can come back with scales, because I've got nothing. What I'm gonna do is unhook this fish let it rest for ages and then I'll start to show it to the camera but have a look at this. This must be 20 pounds. I don't know how to guesstimate salmon very well and guess what I don't have for two days in a row? Scales. Tried to look for mine last night, couldn't find them. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! <laughs> ah. Scales, but we've got a tape measure which comes all the way down to 39 on the fog. <laughs> Right, we're in the water with him. Getting ready to send him on his way. Oh. Oh my days. Honestly, cannot believe this. Is he ready? Not yet. Not yet. Not Thank you. Oh my God, yes! <laughs> I am absolutely made up with that fish. It doesn't get any better than that. That is literally it. That is literally it. I had no intention to film in this, I'm just gonna add in, but I thought I'd bring the GoPro so I can watch back any footage and just sort of record a nice little memory because I absolutely love this, absolutely love it. It means a lot to me, but once I realized the fishing was the way it was, I thought it would be really cool if I could share this fishing and these moments with you. 
because it, to me it's incredible and to share it with others seems pretty good to me. I cannot believe it. What a couple of days. Well worth the hours and hours and hours and hours of driving. I've got big fish fever now so I cannot wait to get back out on the pike and perch. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one as much as I have. This is real special to me. I'm over the moon. I feel absolutely privileged and very proud of myself for getting that fish. So like, comment, share, subscribe, tight lines, and I'll see you in the next one.